Hello and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So last time our daughter decided to get married to a 74 year old man. Uh, is that right? Yeah, a 74 four year old man. She decided this all by herself. So that's a little bit interesting. We are however going to be able to educate our son who's actually our heir um, very very soon. We're going to start choosing someone for him. And we have decided to go to this wedding as well. We need a new, we need a new master of arms. How about, um, I don't know, we'll go for, we'll go for Allison. Wait, she actually hates us, we'll go for Lionel. And then we'll get him to train children in our capital. There we go. If I, there we go. Right, it finally accepted that. Uh, Lady Shereel greeted us warmly to the feast. Fine arbor gold was served, and the most lovely music played throughout the whole night. The ceremony between... Lord Walder and Lady Shereel and the Grand Feast shall be held upon the morrow. Thanks for having us. Uh, split the realm up again so it looks a little bit nicer. Now Shereel falls away and Walder Staxbeer stand before the gods to take up a holy vow of marriage. The great lords and ladies of Castamere look on as he drapes the arms of House Staxbeer around the bride to finally seal their marriage. And now for the feast. Wood should happen any day now. There we go. The feast is winding down now. Only the bedding remains. Walder and Shereel are stripped of all garments by the revelers to make many a body joke along the way. They are then finally bundled into a bedchamber where they are finally left alone. A fine tradition. Uh, she did not become pregnant, which is it's a 33% chance. So, at least I assume she Yeah, she didn't. Uh, Lady Shereel's wedding is over and it's now it's time to bring the, uh, begin the long way home. After the music, entertainment and warmth, the real world suddenly feels cold and hostile. I believe it says 33% chance, although I don't know if the natural game not allowing you to do this before your 16 like kicks in. Or like whether it's 33% chance if you're over a certain age. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, will there be another wedding? Oh, we got some 15 prestige. And... On the 27th, we'll be able to find an educator for our son. Which will be quite fun. There's a new Lord Commander on the wall. We're not reading this anymore, but uh, he's now a Karen. Yes, of course, the wall is still underneath uh, the wildlings, which is uh, not ideal, but it's alright. I'm sure that'll be fine. Right. Uh, oh, yes. Let's go find an, a guardian for our son. So, let's have a look at ourselves. Um... There's really not anything that would say that we choose not choose somebody in particular. I mean, cynical probably means we're not going to choose somebody who's religious. But apart from that, we're kind of open. Okay, let's have a look. We're going to open up the character finder here. Search the whole realm. Probably going to search for some... Wait. Oh, I thought that was saying that this uh, ruin thought itself was an... Thought it was an eagle, which would be a little bit weird. Anyway... Uh, we're going to search for the highest marshal we can find. And then we're going to start narrowing it down. We should probably be within my religion group at the very least. Probably within my... Hmm. I don't really care about the culture, actually. Uh, they do have to be an adult to be a guardian. Which kind of takes some people out of the list. Um, and we'd probably maybe want to sell send them to a great house. But we can look at that ourselves. So what have we got? So we can send them off to like an... A uh, mercenary company. That doesn't seem great. Chief General of the Iron Shields. That's another mercenary company, isn't it? Yep. Arnos of the Mercenary Company. Master of Arms at Ocean Road. Uh, we don't have a great reason to send them there. Um, what else have we got? We're just going to kind of go down until we see somebody who it seems like we might like actually send them to. Um, oh, look, the Master of Arms here. Send them to the High Septum? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, Lord Commander of the King's Guard? If he take him, that seems like that would be perfect. And we're also a bit proud. We'd want him to be educated by the best person available. Nothing seems like he's awful for us. Um, Knight Commander of the King's Guard. I would like for my child to be educated by you. He would say yes. He might become a river man, but I'm okay with that. Unless, actually, is there somebody in the King's Guard who would, um, who is a, what's it called, a Reachman? No, River, Riverman. Uh, Stormlander. It's not that easy to search within one of these. Uh, Westerman. 
right back to uh, Fort. Uh, Gregor is a Westerman. Thalia is... Wait. We've got... Oh, she's just in his court. She's not actually a member of the King's Guard. I thought... I was saying there we had a woman member of the King's Guard. That was a little, that'd be a little bit odd. Salt Dornish. Okay. Desmond is a first man. Um, culture. That's a little bit odd, I think, isn't it? I could be wrong. Right. Who else do we have? We got Nimer Dalt. He's not actually a King's Guard. Uh, and we got Aaron Yamsi, who's not a King's Guard. Okay. Um, I would actually be quite happy just having him educated over there. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, that'll be fine. We're not too worried about the culture, to be honest. There we go. We're more interested in the uh, prestige that being educated by this person would give him, in the uh, opportunities it would give him, that sort of thing. To the great Lady Lucy II's blessings upon you and your house, I'd gladly accept the guardianship contract between John and Lord Commander Angui. Perfect. Oh, we found another plot in Sunspear. Cool. Cool, what's happening over there? Well, we had a 33% chance, so we might not have found the plot. Ooh, there's a faction. At Lady Allison of Cider Hall has founded the deposed Lady Lucy of the Second faction. Wow, she's fairly strong up by herself. Hmm. I wonder if there's something we can do. Why does she hate us so much? Uh, her educated with foreign culture was enough to knock her underneath the limit. Okay. Well, we we have one way of solving issues. We are going to murder her. There we go. We will get everybody in here. Come on, everybody. Join the plot. They said we had 50, 151%. There we go. How many more people can we get? Uh, nobody else wants to join. We have a few people at 9%. Uh, if we're over 100, we shouldn't do anything. Yeah, that's fine. We'll leave it at that. That's pretty cool. Trying to kill her. That, that will solve a lot of our issues if she just dies. Uh, my liege, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I have discovered a plot where Sylvia Merriweather seeks to kill Lady Lucia II of the Rose Road. Why does she hate us? Demands vengeance. Oh, did we kill somebody? Yeah, we killed Clayton Merriweather. Ah, yes, our old rival. I see. Hmm, okay. Well, well, we'll keep an eye on that one as well. She doesn't have a lot of plot power, does she? We check that here? We can't check that there. Okay, so. Sylvia Merriweather does not have a lot of plot power, no. But we'll, we'll keep her on the list. Definitely keep her on the list for uh, murdering time. Uh, people are finding more factions. It's fine. People are being released from prison. Cool. Cool. Uh, what's our important decision? Send for a faceless man. No, let's not do that. That sounds uh, very uh, over the top. I think we'll be fine. We'll definitely be fine where we are. Uh, Lorath died a natural death, and that means there's a new leader of Lorath over there. Dear Lady Lucia the Second of the Rose Road, I hereby invite you to the Grand Feast in Middlebury. Your presence at the feast will be greatly appreciated. I look forward to your attendance, Queen Allery. I'll travel to the feast. Yeah, sure. I went to the last one, it was alright. No reason not to uh, go to this one as well. Lords of Payne Hall have uh, changed tax law. Definitely uh, an important thing. Ooh, Stark died stillborn. Alright. Lords of the Arbor have approved the institution of small city taxes law. Uh, Queen Ulri greeted us warmly to her feast. Wine was served and the most delicious aromas came from the kitchen. Thank you for having us. Lords of Lorath have approved the institution of minimal fuel taxes. Definitely a good thing to have. More tax changes. Uh, people being executed. More people being imprisoned. Queen Ulri's feast is over. It's time to bring the, begin the long way home. After the food, the entertainment, and the entertainment and the warmth, the world, real world suddenly feels cold and hostile. Will it be a feast next year? Uh, yeah. That'd be nice. There was another feast. Get some prestige, some more stuff to do. Uh, ooh, a lot of weak claims can be pressed. Nobody here has landed, are they? Uh, we have one landed, Manderford. Our vassal, uh, Haswick can claim Manderford. Okay, on Lord Edwin the Fat. 
Okay, yeah, but he has a lot of men. That was it. That was a problem. And he also has allies who are very strong. We could possibly win that. But we don't necessarily want to cripple ourselves to uh, do so. We could always try and kill some of the alliances, but that's fine. Oh, what was that? Um... At age 41, King Lymond of the Riverlands was slain by Prince Edwin of the Rock in personal combat. Ooh, okay. So he was slain by uh, this Lord Edwin over here, Edwin Lannister. Okay. And now his son is in charge, King Lyman. Goes to Lymon, this is Lyman. Cool. Riverlanders have a way of uh, doing it. Ooh, why is this all the trident now? That's, that's different. Oh, because they've decided to be in the actually independent oh no this is a bug I, it's definitely a bug it's because the leadership switched while they were independent therefore they are now permanently independent that's a little odd that's very very odd maybe something to do with laws I don't know my co-conspirator Sir Arik ha uh, has hired someone to saw through the supports of the railing on a balcony Lord Allison is known to frequent someone may soon take a bit of a tumble look out below and and amateur failure lady allison discovered the sabotage that had been done to the railing at least she is clueless about as to who is to blame for this we'll just have to try again yes we'll just try again no problems no problems just keep it up uh and just uh we'll succeed next time i'll be fine we'll uh we'll be fine Oh, tax law changed. During a mission to try and fabricate a claim to a title, my master of laws has been murdered. Lady Surreal was murdered. Oh no, how terrible. Well, we need a new Justicar. Uh, Owen, I guess you're in charge now. How about you go fabricate me a claim on Brightwater Keep and uh, make it snappy. Yes, uh... It's really uh, not a good thing. In fact, we've gone through like four Justicars already. Like in about... Um, I don't know how long it's been, but well, it hasn't been very long at all. Uh, dear Lucia, uh, I would like to invite you to join me for a small gathering of friends to dine and drink and forget about the world outside for a little while. Please be prepared to reserve a couple of days for this in case we truly get into the spirit of proceedings. Yours, Lord Richard of Old Town. Is she a friend of ours? Is he a friend of ours? I mean, he's not a friend of ours. Okay. I'll go carousing with you. That's fine. Weird. That event seems a little odd. It didn't really fit in the box. I wonder if that's like a default game event. Because carousing's default. I don't know. Uh, tax law? Definitely. Going for it. Great tax law. Love it. We almost have enough money, actually, for our uh, building we're trying to build. Which would be nice if we get that before we have to pay money for another child to be educated. It's, it's going to be a close run thing. How's our uh, plot looking? Um, That's pretty good. Can we get anyone else in this plot? Nobody else is really that interested in the plot at all, actually. Okay. We still have 151%, so that's that's not too bad. It's uh, pre pretty solid as things go. A peasant's revolt appeared. Okay. And more people being imprisoned. You've arrived at the private rooms of Lord Richard. There's plenty of food and drink here, and the mood is decidedly merry. You're looking forward to this. Let's get it started. Yeah. Got some prestige. Great. Uh, yeah. Everything seems absolutely fine. Uh, these days of revelry are an excellent escape. So many laughs and so many intense conversations in such a short time. It brings you closer to your companions. You feel like good friends already. You're my best friend. Lord Richard, you're my friend now. I'm sorry for, I think we tried to kill you at one point. Or at least we attacked you. The reveling and carousing is over for now. Time to get back to uh, real life. Well, it was fun. Yeah, we had some prestige. Oh, I forgot. We also, ha we also got this intrigue uh, thing we should be using at some point. Uh, let's use that on the person we're trying to kill. Let's uh, spy on her. See if we can get just get her out of factions that way. Whichever way is quickest. I and my trusted snoops and sneaks will keep a very close eye on the activities of Lady Allison of Cider Hall. 
A close eye indeed. Wonder what secret she's hiding. Yes. Uh, King Harry of Mountain Vale has declared the Veilman War for Lord Tymon's claim on Southstone on King Lyman of the Titans. Okay, so King Harry, uh, this is Harry of the Mountain Vale, has declared the Veilman War for Lord Tymon's claim on Southstone. Uh, what is... So Southstone will be this one, right? As Runestone. Um, I don't see Southstone anywhere, but it's, it's, it'll, be, it'll be around around here somewhere, I'm sure. Mm, yeah, okay, fine. It's just a war between the Trident and the Mountain of Vale. Trident shouldn't be independent anyway, so that works. My spying on Lady Allison of Cider Hall has revealed her complicity in a shadowy plot to buy Olena of Lagard Keep's loyalty. Hmm. Well, knowledge is power, so we'll reveal a plot. Uh, the rumours about a plot brewing here in Sunspear seem to be true. Okay, did you find a plot? Did we find one? 33% chance. I don't think we did. Okay. It's like a month till we have enough money. Wait, was it 700 or 750? Oh, 750. We're not going to make it before we have a child to educate, I'm fairly certain. They're going to cost us another 100 gold. Children are expensive. Uh, King Oren of the Stormlands died a natural death. Well, he did very well for the Stormlands. He took over a lot of it. Oh, Pentos became independent. Alright, so that's now King Aaron of Pentos, who is still underneath King Raymond the Imperious. But Pentos itself became independent. And uh, the Stormland. Oh, right, I see. It must have been some kind of gavel kind going on there. Or something like that. Because um, it split to one of his siblings and to. Or maybe it's seniority in Pentos. And then it's primogenitor in the rest. That makes sense. So seniority would give it to uh, King Aaron. Alright, cool. And now King Richard of. Uh, the Stormlands, Rit Richard. Here we go. Uh, to the new, to the noble Lady Lucy II, you should be happy to know that I, King Raymond, will be holding a coronation ceremony in the Great uh, Sept of the Faith in honor, in my honor, with the blessing of His Holiness the High Septum. You've been in, you've been in power for a very long time, King Raymond. Are you having some problems? You having some memory issues? Because uh, I'm fairly certain you've been like head of the Iron Throne for a long time. We'll come to your feast though. Yeah, we'll tend. Maybe uh, the faith has only just uh, allowed him, like, the faith has only just ratified him. Maybe that's it. Yeah, the trident is falling apart. This is interesting. Uh, important decisions being sent for a faceless man. Not going to do that. Siege of Runestone is over. So that's the capital, actually, is uh, being sieged, which should mean that that war ends any second now. Maybe. Um, Alright, that's one of the peasants' revolts is over. Oh, looks like there might be some some actual um, wall left. Oh, wait, no. Uh, it's Okay, some people became independent, but they're still the wall isn't back yet. Lord Ian the Cruel has declared Lord, I, Lord Ian the Cruel's war for Andolus on uh, Lothra. Okay, cool. Why do we get specific mentions about Lord Ian so, or Lord Eon so much? Or Prince Eon, as he was. The King on the Iron Throne, in the name of the Father, I, King Raymond of House Marbrand, promise, pledge, and guarantee in the sight of the Seven that I'll be protector and defender of the realm and always useful to it, however many, insofar as I'm supported by divine assistance according to my knowledge and ability. Today, King Raymond was crowned by His Holiness the High Septum and formally received the title King of the Andals, the Raynor, and the First Men, Lord of Seven Kingdoms, Protector of the Realm. Long may L King Raymond live. Yes. Well, I mean, he's already lived a very long time, but he could live longer. See, I told you, we're going to have this education thing popping up first. Um, let's see. Let's go for numbers, I think. Well, I mean, maybe at court. Yeah, we'll go for a court. And we will spend as much as we can, because that's what we do. My snoops and are overheard. Lady Allison of Cider Hall, she told shocking lies about her rightful leash. How should I use this information? Hmm. Alright, so I expose and denounce her public, uh, publicly, giving her a reason to be arrested. Threaten her with exposure. Ooh. Reason to be arrested? Please do. That's perfect. Allison? I now have a reason to arrest you. Yeah. Okay. 
Now what we can do is we can send... I see, you know what? We're just going to try and arrest her. You know what we should do? We should raise up all of our men, march them to the side of the hall, then try and arrest her. Let's, let's prepare. Just a second. Let's uh, pretend for a second like we're planning to arrest her, rather than we're uh, just like, hey, let's just arrest her and then, you know, let things uh, go like that. March our men on top. Yeah, so that's a whole lot of things are changing in Lorath, but that's not important right now. We get our very powerful army. Wented is no longer Spymaster. We need a new Spymaster. How about uh, Eleanor? That seems like a good one. And she can scheme. Cool. Allison, I want to imprison you. She raised her flag in rebellion. We kind of expected this. We call in our allies. We will, of course, call in our... Oh, we have a, we're actually have an alliance with Lord Richard. I didn't notice that. Oh, well, we'll definitely call him in. I mean, I suppose we are friends. There we go. Got that working. Siege is actually working out. Dear friend, may you live in harmony and contentment. Of course I will honor my obligation and answer your call to war. Cider so Hall called in Lord Dennis of Brightwater. All right, so it's uh, all of the red apple fosways versus green apples here. But uh, we also have uh, the Willems on our side. Master Albar is no longer, or Maester Albar is no longer a maester. Uh, we'll send for a new maester. We're not going to request liege intervention. This was our war. We planned ahead for this. The maester we sent for from the Citadel has arrived. So we got, oh, we've got Eon. Well, and this name must be popular recently. He's everywhere. Okay. My co-conspirator, Sir Arik, has procured a poisonous viper and sends word that it will soon dig its fangs into Lady Allison. Uh, okay. That's interesting. Um, if it kills her, this war just ends, I think. Uh, Lord Uther of Iron Oaks has usurped the Lordship of Strongsong from Harlan Belmore. Okay, cool. Uh, one thing I forgot to do is check if we have no leader. We have no commanders. Oh dear. We should have commanders. Uh, Humphrey is our castellan. That's why he can't do things anymore. Uh, so Renly, you can be one of ours. It's fine. Ramond. Uh, sure. Raman. And mm, Goater. Yeah, Goater. Then we'll put... Oh, Renly's already doing something else. Yeah, well, I guess we'll remove you from the list. How about Owen? Are you okay? Yeah, Owen. So we'll put, um, we'll put Ryan, then we'll put Goter, then we'll put Owen, and then we'll just stay inside the hall. That's fine. I found out nothing new or useful about Lady Allison of Cider Hall, but as my shady informant pointed out, there's nothing preventing me from making stuff up. How about a classic? She takes little boys to bed. Uh huh. Success! The snake performed its duty with a plum and pumped Lady Allison full of its deadly venom. It slipped away into the night and the guards are now too busy contending with a string of lethal snake attacks to search for those responsible. I could kiss that snake. Well, maybe not. We killed her. Oh, we're still the war for inside a hall. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't realize we'd still be in the war. I thought the war would end. That's kind of interesting. My lady, it's come to my attention that nobody has been designated regent of... For the Rose Road, should the need realm need it. Uh, needless to say, this is a perilous position, as uh, surely Squabble and Rivalry will emerge without clear leadership. I humbly petition you name me designated regent to avoid this sort of trouble. Signed, Lord Humphrey of Lord Inchfield. Uh, let's have a quick look here. We have one friend and he's not in our realm. We do have a lover. Uh, what's our opinion of him? Well, that's his opinion of us. Our opinion of him is 25. That's not too bad. Um, I mean, you could be our regent. Yeah, fine. You'd be our regent. It's not, I'm not too bothered. Uh, King Lyman of the Trident accepted King Harry of the Mountains peace offer. Um, the Trident lost. Yeah, unsurprisingly. Stonehenge and all of that went away to the other side. Are you heading into New Barrel? We can't be having you heading into New Barrel. Uh, can we catch them in New Barrel? Eight. Yeah, we can catch them in New Barrel. Perfect. That should be a very, very easy fight for us. Our center flank just got completely destroyed. Uh, is there something wrong about him? I guess he's just not as good as, say, Owen. 
Mm. Oh, there's just too many people in Owen's flank, actually. Um, oh, do we have, like, one really big army somewhere? Or can we fix this ourselves? Yeah, that's fine. We should have, like, roughly uh, 4,000 in each flank. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Uh, we're now just going to go and beat the army up, given that we already uh, broke the siege. We might as well go and beat the army up. That's fine. Torrent of the North, declare the Northmen. Bransford, does your war over Craig Curran? Oh, if uh, the Willems have it, we're just going to go to Side of Hall. That's fine. And we'll siege this down. Doing very well in this war. Uh, I would like you to just surrender. Nope. Cool. Uh, Stormlands, now some things that are... F oh, Mir just broke free from the Stormlands entirely, but it's still underneath the Iron Throne. Interesting. Very interesting that that's the way that that's working right there, given that the uh, Trident has, uh, you know, broken into other things. Uh, you have spent some time in Sunspear. You feel that you have found a promising candidate for membership in all potential factions supported by your leash. A small amount of persuasion may be necessary, however. Oh, oh well, good. A good job for our leash. Uh, a child lacks a guardian, so Ellen Fosaway will educate you. How about we do it ourselves? That seems reasonable. I mean, we could send her somewhere else, but we'll, we'll just do it ourselves. That's fine. Uh, food was smuggled in, increasing the morale of defenders. You can actually get rid of all these events if you just never actually have any leaders on your armies, because the events are tied to the leaders, but that's fine. Let's sit on top of it. We have a lot of men, so we should outnumber them quite severely. What, is this up at 4%? Yeah, 4.6%. That's pretty good for a sieging. It's going to take a while, but it's pretty good. Uh, I think we would have to have 70,000 troops to have a safe assault, so we just don't have a safe assault, basically. Uh, people are dying. We can call in allies. Lady Cheryl of Castamere. Of course, we'll call in our daughter. We'll see if she'll join as well. Just to give us a little bit extra strength of alliance. Dear mother, may you live in harmony and contentment. Of course, I will honor my obligation and answer your call to war. Uh, there's Liberation Revolt uh, declared on Laura. Cool. Siege seems to be going a little bit quicker. Wildling Revolt popped. Cool. Lots of revolts happening. Uh, people are no longer guardians. Some other people. I feel like my daughter Ellen is too cynical for her age. Well, I feel like she's just clear sighted. Yeah. Ooh, she gained an intrigue. She's uh, definitely becoming. Uh, Wait, why do we have plus 50 for mother and plus 5 for aunt? Um, that, that seems like there's a little bit of a problem there. Weird. Very weird. Anyway, yeah. She is uh, definitely turning into another Lucia. Although her name is not Lucia, so she's obviously not a murdering uh, psychopath. Right, uh, we'll keep going. Defenders are almost down. It's only 4.5. I guess we lost some men in one of the events. That's fine. We have taken Cider Hall. We will demand our important prisoners. We have now got Lord Gunther. And we will enforce our demands. We won the revolt. They are... They've been released from our dungeon. Oh no, he's still in our dungeon. Yeah, he was released then uh, re-imprisoned. Interesting. Well, hmm. Harlan, Fozaway, and Gunther. So Gunther's heir is Harlan. Where does this go? It goes uh, Harland, Almera, Dennis. I have no idea who Dennis and Almera are. Um, can I revoke his title? Like his lordships? Our other vassals will be annoyed. Hmm. Well then, uh. We'll just keep them here and we'll educate them ourselves. Can we do that? We cannot choose... He's not... Is he not old enough to be educated? Um... Hmm. Interesting. What about his... Brother? Can we educate them? Alright. Wait. So we could educate Harlan, but not, uh... Gunther. Interesting. I wonder why that is. Wait, they'd say... Oh, it needs to be six. Hmm. 
weird. Maybe we'll wait just a month. See if that clears itself up. Sometimes things clear on the month. Like, uh, odd things, bro, to say, you can't do this. And you... Right. Educate child. Nope, we can't do that. Uh, we could exile him. That would increase our tyranny. Um, I guess we just keep him imprisoned forever. Um, we can almost just execute him. Uh, it does increase our tyranny. And we'll just keep him imprisoned. That's fine. We'll keep him imprisoned for just now. Oh, Ellen, the other Ellen falls away. Our aunt is now dead. That was, uh, the one who decided to join the Silent Sisters. Her child is, uh, in control of the Westlands, though, which is quite nice. And I think we're also going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.